वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम एंड टुडे वी विल सी द थियरम बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनलिटी थियरम एंड हाउ टू प्रूव इट इन अ टॉपिक सिमिलर ट्रायंगल्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल प्लीज फर्स्ट सब्सक्राइब इट एंड इफ यू लाइक द चैनल प्लीज लाइक इट एंड शेयर द वीडियोस विथ योर फ्रेंड्स so let us see the basic proportionality theorem students let us see the theorem basic proportionality theorem the basic proportionality theorem states that in a triangle a line drawn parallel to one side to intersect the other side in two distinct points divides the two sides in the same ratio a line drawn parallel to the one side and to intersect the other sides in distinct points then that line segment or a line that divides the two sides in the same ratio this we have to prove so here it is given that triangle abc is given and let de is a parallel line drawn to the side bc and we have to prove that ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec let us see the figure a triangle abc is there and in this triangle abc de is a line parallel to the side bc that intersects the other side or two sides in distinct points d and e and we have to prove that the ratio ad upon de is equal to ae upon ec so we will do the construction join be and cd and draw ef perpendicular to ab so join dc and join be and draw ef perpendicular to ad it means this is the 90 degree angle so here now we will see the proof proof so in triangle in triangle ade and triangle bde here in triangle ade we see that if we take ad as a base then ef will be the height of the triangle and therefore we can find the area of this triangle by the formula 1/2 into base into height therefore base is ad and height is ef and therefore the area of this triangle ade will be 1/2 ad into ef similarly take the triangle dbe so triangle dbe so if you take bd as the base then ef will be the height of triangle dbe because height is a perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex on the base so if you extend this base the perpendicular from e that is the opposite vertex will lie outside the triangle and therefore ef will be the perpendicular of the triangle bde and therefore the area of this triangle will be given by 1/2 base that is 1/2 into db into ef so we can write a area of triangle ade upon area of triangle bde 
that will be equal to half into base here base is ad and height is ef so ad into ef upon area of triangle bde that is half into base will be bd and height will be ef bd into ef here ef will get cancelled half will get cancelled and we will get ad upon bd let this be number 1 so area of triangle ade upon area of triangle bde that is equal to ad upon bd similarly if you take the triangle ade and triangle b uh, dec this triangle if you take these two triangles then the area of triangle ade divided by area of triangle dec that will be equal to ae upon ec let this be number 2 now we have to show that ad upon bd that is equal to ae upon ec this is possible when these two ratios of the areas will be equal if you observe these two ratios you will see that the numerator is already equal if we show that the denominators are also equal then we can say that these two ratios are also equal see the denominators are bde this triangle and dec these two triangles and these two triangles are on the same base that is de and are on between the two same parallels and there for the areas of these two triangles are equal and therefore area of triangle bde is congruent to area of triangle dec reason triangles on the same base and same between same parallels are always equal and since these denominators are equal therefore these two ratios are equal and therefore ad will be equal to ad upon bd will be equal to ae upon ec therefore from 1 2 and 3 we can say that ad upon bd is equal to ae upon ec hence proved now let us see the corollary of uh, basic proportionality theorem so let us see corollary 1 here we have proved that ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec we will first add 1 to both the sides so we will get ad upon db plus 1 which is equal to ae upon ec plus 1 now we will solve the both sides so it will be ad plus db taking lcm and solving upon db which is equal to ae plus ec upon ec but in the figure if we see that ad plus db this is ad and this is db if you add this two lengths together we will get the total length ab so it will be ab upon db which is equal to ae plus ec that is this is the ae and this is the ec so if you add this two we will get the total length ac and so it is ac upon ec and therefore the corollary one shows that ab upon db is equal to ac upon ec ab that is total length 
upon DB this part and total length AC upon this part EC this ratios are also equal. Now let us see the corollary 2. We have proved that AD upon DB that is equal to AE upon EC. Take the reciprocal of both the sides. So we will get it DB upon AD which is equal to EC upon AE. Now add 1 to both the sides. So we will get DB upon AD plus 1 which is equal to EC upon AE plus 1. So solving both the sides it will be DB plus AD upon AD which is equal to EC plus AE upon AE. So DB plus AD again this is DB plus AD will be the total length AB so it will be AB upon AD which is equal to EC upon AC AE that will be the total length AC upon AE. So corollary 2 gives us that AB upon AD that is this total length AB upon this part AD is equal to AC this total length upon this part AE. So three things we got and that three things are AD upon DB is equal to AE upon EC. Second thing we got by corollary 1 that AB upon DB is equal to AC upon EC. And the third thing we got by corollary 2 that AB upon AD is equal to AC upon AE. So remember these three things that are used to solve the problems on basic proportionality theorem. Friends, you might have enjoyed this video. Then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook. Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.